Hello everyone. It's again again. This morning we are making catfish pepper soup with unripe plantain. So here I have my catfish washed clean, properly clean and washed. And I have my two medium size of catfish has been clean and washed already. And I have my unripe plantain. I have two about that size, two of that peeled and diced. And I have here my blended pepper. I have a combination of this in it. I have a banero rodo. Then I have a catchment. I have um, ginger. I have garlic, organic ginger and garlic. I have spring onions. This is what I have. Yeah, then I have it is pepper soup, so it's gonna have a lot of different type of spices and different type of pepper. So I have here Nigerian hot pepper. I have here Cameroonian hot pepper. Then I have white pepper. Then I have seasoning, refresh seasoning. I have local spices for cooking Nigerian pepper soup. So it is a combination of this turmeric gonna have turmeric as well to make it hot and spicy so i'm having this also it's a grammy spices that contain a lot of spices a lot of spices i'm gonna have crayfish i love my crayfish so and then i'm having salt Salt for taste. I'll carry on cooking. I have on the stove already. I have on the stove already a pot. I like cooking my. I like cooking my. All right, plantain first. I like it soft. So I'm going to add this to the pot and cover to cook for some minutes I'm going to cover to cook for some minutes then while the red plantain is cooking I'm going to marinate my catfish and set aside for a while so I'm going to add my pepper Adding my pepper it's just for to marinate. You have to be gentle with the catfish. You cover everything with your pepper. You can add pepper depending on your tolerance for for pepper me i like it in it hot i can take it so and my husband like it very hot as well so you can take the, the pepper depending on the way you like it but i like it hot so i'm adding my pepper set aside a little just to spice it up a little later so I'm going to add I'm, I'm adding the other the other pepper Nigerian hot pepper, a little, then Cameroonian, a little, then this is white pepper, and this is my seasoning, crayfish seasoning. I'm gonna put everything in the seasoning, the local spices for. 
Yes, I'm going to have a little, I'm going to have the remaining one later. And our oh, family that sits me as well. Let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna mix everything together. A proper mix. Advice is covered very well now with pepper and spices so I'm going to cover it up I'm going to cover it up to marinate for some minutes let it wait for one hour then come back to can do this overnight but i just wanted to see the way i do it that's why I'm, I'm i'm leaving it this way you can do it overnight marinate like this bring it out before the morning and you know carry on with your cookie i'm going to set it aside for at least between 45 and 60 minutes then i will just have to the all right plantain on the stuff so yeah, see you the next 60 minutes. Okay, all right, we are back. The all right, plantain has boiled and I've Turn on the stove for it to continue cooking so I can add my marinated uh, catfish. So we're going to add the catfish to the boiling or ripe plantain. So I'm going to reduce the heat. So I'm reducing the heat. I'm going to have the pepper. Adding everything for it to cook under a low heat for about five minutes. 
just rub the pepper to get into the fish properly for five minutes. Then we had the other. When I had some water and more spices. to taste for salt. Yeah, it's very hot and spicy, just the way I like it. I'm going to need to add more salt. by two minutes just a little I'm gonna have this as well this is very good for if you want to detox I don't know how they have so I'm going to add this is parsley Spring onions, this is best. I'm gonna add everything this and I'm gonna add all this. So I'm adding my crayfish, then in two minutes it should be ready. At this point, you want to add more pepper or more water after you have tasted and you still think you need to add any of that, it's up to you. But this is the way I make mine. The salt is perfect. The pepper is okay for my tolerance level. I just should let the the herb sink in for a minute or two, then our pepper so will be ready. So our pepper soup is ready to dish. So this is how to make delicious pepper soup. It's all right, planting. Yeah, I'm gonna serve it now. You can see the green, you can see the pepper. It's colorful and spicy. Now, and it is very, very soft now, and it has all the flavor in it. Okay, now we have it. <laughs> 